everyone and welcome back to another Doctor Who action figure review. Now today is the start of a wave of action figure reviews and I'm going to start off by taking a look at the friends and foe of the 13th Doctor. So this set includes Yasmin Khan, Brian Sinclair and a Jadoon Trooper from Fugitive of the Jadoon. So let's take a look at the packaging. The box is the new sort of styling with the logo, the current TARDIS, the name of the set, a limited edition sticker. On the one side, it just extends round and the other side, it has a photo of the TARDIS. On the back, it's got pretty much the figures, the logo again. So if we take a look at the first figure, we have Yasmin Khan and this is based on her from It Takes You Away, I believe. And I really like this figure. This uses the body from a primeval, I think it's Claudia Brown, if not there's a photo on the screen anyway, with a new head and pretty much just a full repaint. So the head sculpt is absolutely fantastic. It looks just like Mandit Gill with her little space buns and her long hair over her shoulders. You can definitely tell it's Yasmin. Now looking at the body, like it's, a, it's just a reuse, but the jacket is the brown that she has throughout series 11 and a couple of episodes in series 12. Uh, the white sort of jumper she would have on, it's just been replicated as like a white shirt. All the creases, etc. are all on there. And her trousers, they're done in like a, they're just blue, like a chino style, uh, with her belt as well. And she's got brown shoes as well. If we take a look at the articulation, the head can swivel side to side. Probably could do a 360, but I don't want to push it. The arms do a 360, as do the biceps, and 90 degree at the elbow the wrists also swivel 360 the waist swivels 360 the legs can kick forward and out to the side the thighs do a full 360 and there's a bend at the knee so overall this figure is brilliant uh, full of detail now moving on to the ryan sinclair figure like the Yasmin khan it reuses a primeval body i think it's Nick Cutter, the green one, whatever the one I used for my Dark Eyes 8th Doctor. And the head sculpt is, it is amazing. It looks just like Tosin Cole. I'm, I'm blown away about how good this head sculpt genuinely is. And then the jacket, it's done in like a dark green with a bit of a light wash over the top. The buttons are all painted in like a silver with a bit of a yellowish tint. Looks lovely. The blue top is also prominent underneath and the trousers are done in a light grey with a bit of a dark wash as well and then his shoes are just painted black so the head can swivel side to side it could probably do a 360 but i really don't want to push it the arms do a full 360 and swivel at the bicep a 90 degree at the elbow and the wrists also do a 360. the waist does a 360 as well the legs can kick forward and go sort of out to the side but it's hindered by this jacket piece and there's a swivel at the thigh, bend at the knee, and that's it for the articulation. So overall, the detail on this figure, again, is pretty good. And last but not least, we have the Jadoon Trooper. So the helmet itself is being replicated lovely. The sort of vent bits where the eyes, I'm guessing, uh, they're painted like a darker gray, so there's a bit of difference on there. But if we take a look at the belt piece, so gone are the holes where the accessories would plug in. They've just filled them in. It just adds a bit of variety. And I must say, I do like the Jadoon Troopers like this. All the detailing of the Under Armours there on the legs and the skirt, all the silver's painted on nice and the boots are complemented nicely. But quite interestingly, there is a brand new accessory, which I don't think they've done in quite a while. So it's got all, it's obviously the red, it's got the silver, the black, um, the different shadings on it, and it holds into the Jadoon's hand really well. So if we take a look at the articulation on this Jadoon Trooper, the arms swivel up um, and basically swivel at the elbow bit as well, and it goes 90 degrees. The wrists swivel, but they do fall out like it always has been with the Jadoon Troopers. There's a 360 at the waist, but that is very stiff. Uh, the legs kick forward and out to the side. There is a thigh swivel, but I think we all know what happens if I try and move the Jadoon's leg. What the f And then there's a 90 degree bend at the knees. So that's it for the Jadoon Trooper. Like I said, this is a fantastic figure and I sort of want to army build these. And that's it for this set. So we have finally completed the fam. It's just nice to have another TARDIS team complete on the shelf. 
and that's sort of what this year's b &M sets are doing. Love the current era or hate it, these figures are lovely, the Jadoon as well especially, and I really hope we carry on to get more figures from the current run of the show. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you tomorrow for another Doctor Who b &M set review. So until then, bye for now. Don't forget to click below and subscribe. What? How could I possibly forget that? For goodness sake. You got the message, haven't you? Don't forget.